this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video it's going to be just me and Lee. Good morning Lee. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? How are your feelings? Are your feelings good today? If they're feeling good, then please throw some bread at me. That's the, that's the ultimate way to test if you're feeling good is to throw bread. There we go, Lee is feeling good today. And I now have crumbs all the way down my fur. Jolly good, jolly good. <laughs> and bread is nice and all. You can throw it at ducks and you can, I don't know, make sandwiches with it. But what I really like is cake. So tell you what, let's go and uh, pick a, a new room in the, the house. And uh, let's go and eat some cake there. Hmm, where should we go to now? Let's go and uh, head up to the uh, the clubhouse, shall we? I've never had uh, breakfast in my clubhouse, and this is not my clubhouse, that is the bathroom. <laughs> Don't know my way around my own house. You'd think if I built the house, I should know my way around it, but obviously uh, I do not. So uh, let's go, we can go put some, some music on in the, the background, and we can go and have breakfast up here, and then... We're going to go to the, the love garden because I was a very bad cat in the last episode and I actually forgot to go to my love garden and add someone to it. And I was very uh, disappointed with myself, but I'm going to make up for it uh, today by adding that person. And look, we can do kind of long range cake peekaboo here from the <laughs> from the, the other side of the uh, the little dance area here. Anyway, let's go and uh, stop peekabooing behind the cake and let's eat the cake. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, oh, absolutely delicious. <laughs> no time to, to have any drinks though now though, Lee Bear, because we've got to go to the Love Garden. We can go down, uh, let's go down this way for a little bit of a change, shall we? Let's go and have a little look down here and uh, head to the, the Love Garden. You can see Esther uh, is still hurriedly jumping up and down on the, the cake down there. And uh, you can also see uh, there's a few more additions. We have a, a few friends that are hanging out in our Love Garden and uh, you'll see why uh, in just one moment. But first, I am actually going to remember to add someone and that person is Edric 37 and that's because they sent me these drawings of a whole load of pictures uh, that they drew for me and you can see this one here has me doing uh, all sorts of different games not just Minecraft and then this one's my favorite uh, which is me looking very happy uh, with a whole bunch of uh, my Minecraft friends and so I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for spending all the time making me these uh, pictures and welcome to my love garden right then Lee as I'm sure you and everyone else has noticed, we have a few little pigs hanging out down here. And the reason for that is because our race to the, the doghouse is going to be on pigback. So basically, yep, you can see you got yourself a, a carrot and a stick, and uh, I have a one, two here. And so we basically need to race on top of the pigs. Uh, the first one to get inside of the doghouse is going to be the winner and gets to pick which dog uh, we're going to have joining us. So it looks like Lee, uh, Lee has um, uh, chosen his pig. Uh, I've chosen this one. So we can begin. And three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. The first one to get to the, the doghouse is the uh, the winner. And it looks like Lee Bear got a, a much better start than I did. He is speeding ahead, but hopefully I'm going to be able to, to catch him up. And actually, I've almost caught him up already, but can I overtake him? <laughs> He's kind of blocking me with his pig, but there we go. I was able to overtake him, and look how fast I'm going now. Speeding down the steps, but can I get inside of the door? Yes, I can. Look how fast I'm going, and I am inside of the doghouse. Whoa, this is one mighty fast pig. Did you see how fast he went then? <laughs> That was absolutely crazy. Well done, pig. Thanks for uh, uh, deciding to yeah to, to go quite so fast. And here is Lee Bear on his uh, not quite so uh, speedy pig. <laughs> that was good fun. I think we should do that again sometime. I think uh, sometime in the future uh, we should have a, another race on the uh, the pigs. I really want horses. I've not found any horses in my lovely world yet, although I uh, keep looking for them. I do definitely uh, want to find one at some point. Uh, but anyway, I, I get to, to pick which uh, dog I'm going to take with me today. And uh, let's have, uh, tell you what, let's have Fluffy with me actually. Let's go and uh, grab Fluffy. So Fluffy uh, doesn't live in the, the doghouse. Uh, Fluffy lives over here. So the race to the doghouse was um, kind of for nothing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we got to decide which dog we are going to take. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, uh, have Fluffy joining us for this uh, video. Hopefully uh, she's at home in the, the Pick a Pet Pet Shop. It looks like she is, uh, as well as uh, a googly here hanging out in the, uh, the googly goods area. Uh, so Fluffy, uh, you can uh, stand up off the, uh, the cake and you can go and join us as we go to build a shoe shop. That's right. Uh, we're going to be building the uh, the first ever shoe shop in my lovely world because uh, there's quite a few different styles of shoes you can have. You can have my stampy style shoes. Uh, you can have the uh, the shiny uh, diamond shoes like Lee Bear has. Uh, but you could also 
uh, have the uh, the uh, the iron shoe. No, not iron. Uh, there's gold you can have as well. And then the leather shoes you can uh, dye them uh, to make them all sorts of different colors. So uh, yeah, I have seen as there's uh, so many different types of shoes you can have. Uh, I think it's about time I have a shoe shop. And uh, this is exactly uh, where we're going to to be building it right here, uh, opposite my waist place. And uh, the actual design for the shoe is going to be based on a shoe. It's not going to look like a giant shoe. It's just more inspired by the style of a shoe. <laughs> the things I build are inspired by shoes. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Uh, but yeah, let's go into start building. And I guess I can kind of explain uh, as I'm building it. So I'm going to start building here. And uh, the bottom row is going to be a big square, which is going to be 15 blocks uh, by 15. So let's build along here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 along to here. And then we need to go and build along this direction, 15 blocks as well. So we need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to here. And then if we go and link these uh, two walls up, uh, we should... I have one big square, which is 15 blocks uh, by 15 blocks. Uh, but this is only the, the outer wall because the walls are actually uh, going to be two blocks thick. And uh, the reason for that is actually, let me just count one second. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. This bit is going to be six blocks high. Yeah, this is actually going to be kind of hollow. I'm going to build like a, a frame uh, with this uh, this brown wall. And then we're actually going to have another wall in the background. And then we're going to do a design uh, with stairs. And it's basically to make it look rough. Uh, kind of like, you know, the, uh, the treads uh, you have on your shoes. If you look underneath your shoes, uh, you'll see that there's kind of like a, a pattern. And that is to add extra grip to the, uh, the shoes. And so uh, the the walls are going to be kind of uh, like that style so they should look uh, pretty cool so this is going to be the uh, the outside wall here and then in the the very middle which I'm going to guess is about here where uh, there's going to be a, another pillar kind of going down like this is that the middle uh, that looks like about the middle and then in the background here we're going to build out of my favorite type of wood which is spruce wood <laughs> so we're going to build a uh, another wall uh, in the uh, the background here and I'm gonna have this one completely filled in so this is gonna be uh, what the the walls uh, on the uh, the inside of the other uh, shop are gonna look like this is what uh, you're going to to be able to to see and then we're gonna do the uh, the pattern out of uh, birch uh, planks and uh, the reason for that is because uh, spruce is the the darkest one and birch is the the brightest one uh, it means that the the pattern is going to, to be able to to really stand out and so the uh, the entire pattern is gonna be done with just stairs and uh, the good thing about stairs is that they uh, they have gaps in them uh, so you can make a really cool pattern so you can use like stairs and half slabs and things uh, to do cool uh, sort of 3D designs and uh, that is what the uh, the plan is uh, going to, to be here so first let's go and fill uh, this uh, wall in here uh, with the uh, the background and uh, then I'm going to go and show you how to do the uh, the design on the uh, on the the front and it's actually going to be a really cool shoe shop because it's not uh, just going to be uh, about um uh, about buying shoes it's also going to be about testing shoes and I'm going to explain a little bit more in the the next episode but uh, you know when you go into a shoe shop and then you put on the shoes and then someone tells you like walk up and down see what they feel like and you do like about five steps and you, you can't really tell how good the shoes are by doing a few steps we're going to do a, a a much better test uh, just to test exactly how good uh, the uh, the shoes are, are going to be uh, before you end up buying them. So it's going to be a pretty cool uh, shoe shop once we're uh, finished with it. So uh, first I'm going to go and build up a, a few more of these walls here. And then I'm going to go and uh, up to the uh, the front. And I'm going to go and start doing the uh, the actual pattern, uh, which is uh, going to be on the front. Actually, tell me, let's just do that now. I'll fill this wall in later. I want to go and uh, start doing the, uh, the fun part uh, where we start designing. And be careful if you're going up there, Fluffy. Please be careful. <laughs> right, so as I said, uh, we're going to be using the, uh, the birch plank as I need to go and make a few of these and then I also need to go and make these into uh, into some steps so if I go and make myself a, uh, a crafting table I can go and uh, place this right down here and then I can go and make myself uh, a whole load of these uh, these stairs and it's actually uh, all you need you only need uh, the uh, the stairs to, to make this uh, pattern so let me go and explain what we're gonna do so the first thing to do is to go and fill in the the corners like this uh, one in each corner so you can see the the stairs kind of line up and then along the the top row you do them upside down and just alternate which direction they're they're facing until you go the the whole way along like this and then you need to pretend that this entire thing's a mirror and do the the exact same uh, on the the bottom like this so if I go and uh, alternate like this to here uh, you see you kind of end up with this which is wrong because <laughs> I placed this uh, last one in the wrong place so there we go uh, it kind of ends up looking like this uh, you then need to fill in the the sides and so you do this one upside down like that 
and this one upside down exactly the same as the one above it and uh, remember it's like a, a big mirror so you do the the same down here so you kind of get a bit of like a, a jaggedy window <laughs> I guess and uh, we now fill it in uh, even more and so the the next ones we do is we do the the same as the the ones that they're uh, they're next to so if I do that there and there and if I do like this one like this one and this one you see we start to get a big circle and uh, now the last thing to do is to fill in a even smaller circle uh, in the uh, in the the middle here so uh, if I go and place one like oh nope that's the the wrong way around actually uh, if I go and place just any old block in the background should make this easier if I place uh, this one here and then if I go to the other side and do uh, this one like this, uh, you can see I kind of have the, the top of a circle. I now just need to do the, the same uh, on the, the underneath. So I do one there and uh, one there like that. And this uh, is the uh, the pattern. So it's kind of just a, a cool 3D pattern. You can kind of see through here that you can see uh, to the uh, the background. And it looks like Lee Bear is uh, hard at work uh, doing the, uh, the wand next to me uh, as well. Uh, it is getting dark though, so we should probably uh, start thinking about going to, to bed soon. I might go and uh, make a um a few beds at this crafting table and uh, place it on the the inside especially if it's gonna uh, start raining possibly soon so let's go and uh, put this uh bed down here and uh, one next to it and then once it's dark enough we can uh, go to bed and then that way the uh, the googlies won't join us but for now uh, let's go and uh, carry on building i'm gonna go and uh, throw a a few torches above me here uh, one there one there and one uh, over here on the the right and now let's see how quickly i can do the the pattern uh, on this side here let's see if i can build the uh, the entire thing i built before in less than a minute i reckon i can do this you're all gonna have to, to count for me though because <laughs> i probably won't be able to do it while counting well, let's see if i can let's see if i can count uh up and uh, see if i can do it in under 60 seconds that's gonna be the the challenge right ready steady go one two three Four. Oh, I've done it wrong already. Right, I'm starting again. I'm starting again. I got confused. <laughs> the hardest part is doing the, the counting rather than just the building. But we'll start again. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, ah, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, yes, I finished! 54 seconds. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it. I panicked and got, a right, got it wrong a little bit, but there we go. I was able to do it. So you can see that if you um, yeah, if you uh, put your mind to it, you can actually build uh, this pattern pretty fast. I think if I wasn't panicking and counting, <laughs> I would have been uh, able to, to build it uh, even quicker. Let's see how fast I can build one uh, when I don't worry about counting. I'm sure it's going to be way faster when I have the pressure. And whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a, oh no, it's a spider. There's a spider. Come on, go on. You can get him. You can get him, Fluffy. You can get them. Help me out. Right. That was a, a good reminder that it's probably about time uh, that we uh, went to, to bed. Uh, Lee Bear, Lee Bear are, you, are you around here anywhere? Let's see how good progress he's been doing. While I've been messing around, he has just been building and building uh, away. Uh, Lee Bear, uh, put down some uh, some beds in the um, uh, in the uh, the waste place so we can go and uh, have ourselves a little bit of a, a nap in here before. <laughs> oh yeah, we go and carry on building. So that way, uh, yeah, we won't get any more spiders or even worse, any uh, creepers uh, coming and uh, attacking us. And then yeah, once we've gone and done this uh, pattern uh, around the uh, the rest of the the outside and we can jump on top and uh, start building the the roof and the roof like the walls are inspired by shoes but once again don't really look like shoes and I, i'll explain uh, what i mean by that in a, a little bit when we jump up the the top because i did at first have the idea to build it like a big shoe but then i thought it would like kind of stand out a bit in my world like I kind of build crazy things in my lovely world, but they're normally they're normally grounded in reality. You know, like if I build everything that just completely massive and huge and weird uh, then I think things wouldn't stand out at all uh, so I normally build things you know kind of as if they could exist in real life but are just really really cool and so that's kind of what I've decided uh, to go and do for this like this building 
could exist in real life but if you saw it you'll think like wow that's a, a really cool looking shoe shop there much cooler than the <laughs> the shoe shop that I normally have to go to so let's go and uh, fill this side in here and oh I think this isn't looking right I think I was too busy talking and not thinking there we go this should be uh, here like this and it's much easier if you do place in a, uh, a block and then you can kind of place the the other blocks off it like this and uh, one on this side here and then if I do one like this and one like this and oh no the last one was wrong stairs can be a little bit confusing when you're placing them uh, to make sure they're facing in the the right direction but this uh, is looking uh, pretty good I should probably also uh, add in the um uh, add in the uh, the door in the the front here and have a look at what the uh, the inside looks like so you'll see oh there's a there's a big pillar here <laughs> you see that the inside all you can see is the uh, the spruce uh, planks which are going to be the uh, the inside wall here uh, but let me just go and uh, make myself a, a door and then uh, we can go and place that uh, down on the uh, the front here so there's uh, a door there and I'm gonna put the uh, the floors actually going to be this um uh, this brown wall and uh, this brown wall is actually really hard uh, to get for me uh, because in my lovely world I don't have a, a jungle it's really hard for me to get the uh, the cocoa beans as I kind of have to rely on just uh, brown sheep spawning and then I have to breed them a whole bunch to, to get even more so <laughs> it's uh, been quite difficult for me to, to get all of this uh, brown wool before we uh, started the the video uh, but yeah let's go and uh, jump upstairs and uh, let's go and see uh, if we can go and um, uh, yeah go and start doing the the roof. So uh, let me go and just climb up. Oh, actually, I've got some I got some ender pearls. What do you reckon the chances are of me being able to ender pearl and land on the uh, the top of this wall here? I think I might be able to do that if I kind of look just forward a tiny bit. Is that looking okay? I think that's not looking too bad. Am I going to land? Um, nope. <laughs> I wasn't too far off there. Let's go and have something to eat so I get my health up. And let's go and have another go. This is certainly more fun uh, than just making a, a little staircase or something. There we go. That's much further forward. Oh, it's not too far, is it, though? Please don't be too far. And yep. It was completely too far and I landed too far on this side. <laughs> right, third time is supposed to be the, the charm. This will be the time that I go and land on top perfectly. So the first one was not far enough. The second one was too far. So this one is supposed to be just right. That's the that's my logic anyway. Let's see if it works. Yay! It was the third time <laughs> was uh, was just right. So I actually need to. Uh, I should have done this before I came up. I need to, to go and make uh, some spruce stairs, and uh, these are going to go around the uh, the the front here. And then the, the roof is going to be uh, made out of uh, spruce, just planks uh, as well. And then we're actually uh, going to have rows of glass. And uh, the glass uh, is basically going to be like uh, shoelaces. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have your, your rows of shoelaces. Uh, we're going to have rows of glass, which are going to be the, the windows, uh, which are going to go uh, along the, the top up here. So first, uh, let me go and add these uh, these stairs uh, in a, uh, a circle around the, the outside here. And then we can uh, fill in the, the top and then leave some gaps uh, for the, the windows uh, to, to allow uh, some light to get in because there's no windows actually on the the walls uh, we're going to kind of have these uh, these skylights uh, which are going to hopefully be able to, to light up the uh, the shoe shop uh, during some some nice sunny days so let's go and uh, build entirely around the the outside here like this and I think I'm going to run out of stairs hopefully I'm not going to run out of uh, wood here uh, I thought I gathered uh, enough uh, but I have actually been planting a whole load of uh, different types of trees around the area here anyway as if I do run out I should be able to grab some more easily so I shouldn't need uh, too many of these uh, stairs uh, but I do need uh, quite a lot of uh, the planks uh, just for the the roof anyway so let's go and uh, fill all of these in along here like this and uh, then uh, we can go and fill in the, the roof and look at that the exact perfect uh, amount that I needed so uh, we can go and fill uh, all of these uh, along here like this and it's basically going to be uh, every other row is going to be a, a gap uh, which is going to, to be where the, the windows are, are going to be. So if I leave that gap empty, I can then go and build along here. And then we just need to do the uh, the glass, which is going to be uh, slightly raised above it, uh, just so it is going to kind of look like the, the shoelaces. So I know that most people's shoelaces aren't made out of glass. <laughs> that might be a little bit dangerous, having shoelaces out of glass. And I don't know, shoelaces can be difficult enough to tie, let alone <laughs> uh, having them made out of uh, fragile glass. But yeah, it should hopefully uh, look kind of cool. So as I said, it's sort of in the style of shoes but it doesn't really look like a, a shoe and I think it'll be quite cool so I just need a, a couple more rows here and I did I did run out but it's okay as I said we've got all of these uh, trees uh, around the the area here as so if I go and grab my axe uh, we can just go and uh, cut down a, a couple of these and uh, this should be enough just for the uh, the final few rows let's go and cut down this tree here and uh, there should be some some more around the place uh, can I get that last block I can't leave it <laughs> if I was a, a lesser man I would have uh, left that that wood there but I can't do it, it just annoys 
worries me too much as having one block left. And there, there we go, there's uh, another tree here. And if I cut down this one, there should be uh, more than enough wood uh, for me just to go and uh, finish off the, uh, the roof. And I realised... Uh, I actually forgot to, to gather my glass. I did leave some smelting, uh, but I forgot to, to pick it up. So hopefully, uh, Lee Bear has some uh, some glass on him. Uh, Lee Bear, do you have any um any spare glass that I could uh, borrow, please? You do not. Okay, let me just go and very quickly uh, go and run back to the um uh, to the house, and I can go and grab some some glass, and then that way we can go and do the uh, the final uh, few finishing touches, uh, which are going to be on the um oh yeah on the the ceiling over there. So uh, let me just go and uh, run back this way. I always remember to to put them in the furnace but then I always forget to, to get them out so I've actually got absolutely loads of glass smelting right now because <laughs> I keep putting it in and then completely forgetting to, to take it out luckily it's only glass luckily it's not I don't know like a, a cooked chicken or something that's just being left there and oh look one of the the pigs has wandered right that's very handy let's go and use the pig and uh, try and get over uh, to our, our crafting room even quicker I'm not sure if this is going to be quicker uh, or slower than if I was walking uh, but I think it's definitely going to be more fun I can ride back uh, over to the um to where we're building uh, on the uh, the pig as well so come on as fast as you can i think i've got lee bear's pig rather than my one this doesn't uh, seem to be going particularly fast right you can wait there so i don't need to try and get you through the door and uh, let me just go and grab all of my glass uh, i should have uh, some more in this furnace as well yep i do we can go and grab all of this and then let's rush back as fast as we can to the uh, the shoe shop and i don't think i've actually told you uh, what i'm going to call the uh, the shoe shop yet have i i've decided to call it shoe for you and i'm actually going to spell it with like you know, the the number four and then the, the letter U as well. So it's going to be my shoe for you shoe shop. <laughs> I really just like the uh, the name of that. And right, come on, as fast as you can, pig. I'm scared uh, it's going to eat all of this uh, carrot. You can see that I don't have, um uh, yeah, there's not much life left on this uh, carrot on a stick. So hopefully it's going to be uh, enough uh, for us to be able to, to get here. And yep. Yeah, uh, this is definitely Lee Bear's pig. This is <laughs> a lot slower than if I was just walking by myself. It's more fun, though. It's nice to, to have a, a stroll on a, on a pig. And hopefully it's going to build up a, a little bit of speed as we go. Is it going to start going going any faster, are you, pig? Do you want to start getting some, some speed up? There we go. It's going a little bit quicker now. We are gradually uh, running out of, uh, out of a carrot, though. Come on, you can go faster than this, surely. <laughs> right, I'm doing it. I'm ditching the pig. Sorry, pig. You were just too slow. I am decided just to, to run myself. And uh, yeah, once I've added the, the glass, uh, that would be the uh, the entire outside of the uh, the shoe shop uh, completely finished. Right, let's see if uh, my ender pearl practice has uh, paid off. And uh, let's see if I'm going to be able to, to ender pearl and uh, land on top of it. I think about uh, there should be good. I, th I think that's looking okay. Is it far enough though? It is. Look at that. Ooh, only just. <laughs> but that was uh, absolutely uh, perfect. So uh, first thing, let's go and uh, fill in this uh, final row of, uh, of wood. Uh, we actually uh, need uh, to fill it a little bit in on the uh, the sides here as well. So uh, luckily I got this uh, more wood. Uh, we're going to go and fill it all in uh, like uh, this here, uh, just so it doesn't go right to the the edge. And you be careful there, Fluffy. <laughs> you're not a, a tightrope walker. You're not a uh, you're not a circus dog. So be careful up here. I know uh, I'm up here as well but I do fall off a lot. <laughs> and if I throw you some of this uh, glass, Lee Bear, and if I go and have the, the rest, and then we should be able to, to fill it in pre uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to do it slightly raised. So if I place the, the glass on here and uh, then break away this block, uh, we can then go and uh, place it. Oh no, place it in the wrong place. I hate it. I hate smashing glass. It's one of my least favorite things in Minecraft. <laughs> but yeah, we can place them uh, in rows uh, along here like this. And then the, the next row is going to be here. So you can kind of see what I meant about it looking like shoelaces. It kind of, it kind of makes sense. Like, I don't think anyone would look at this shop and think, ah, that must be a shoe shop. It looks like a big shoe. But I think that once you know it's a shoe shop, you can kind of see how it's sort of uh, in the uh, the style of a, of a shoe. So once I've gone and uh, placed down this final row of glass and broke away uh, these through random blocks, I'm going to go downstairs and we can have a, a look at it and uh, see what it looks like from uh, downstairs and uh, see if it's uh, actually looking cool. Uh, hopefully it is, because it's probably a little bit too late to change it. I like it! I think that this is a, a pretty cool design. Actually, if I jump up here, uh, then we should get a, a better view uh, to see it from up here. So you can see how it's kind of like shoelaces. So uh, this is what the um, uh, the the outside of the, the shop's going to be like. Uh, it's quite a, a cool, unique design. Hopefully uh, you will like it. Uh, but in the, the next episode, we're going to be in uh, going inside of the, the shoe shop and uh, making the inside here uh, look as cool as the, uh, the outside. Uh, outside here. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode uh, for now. Uh, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!